Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is Katania Alvin and I've got a very short but very poignant video. It is Michael Howard speaking in the House of Lords and it is titled We Need to Leave on the 29th of March, meaning we owe it to the 7.4 million people. Very good video and thank you very much the person that actually whose YouTube it is I'll put it in the description box here we go there's the no, House of Lords in the, in the debate which took place in your Lordship's house on the 27th of February my noble friend the Duke of Wellington who is of course in his place said that the sad truth is that our political system has failed badly in the two and a half years since the referendum. I respectfully agree. And it is perhaps worth spending a few brief moments on the reasons for this unhappy state of affairs. The referendum delivered a result which most of our political class neither expected nor wanted. Most members of the other place voted to remain. The proportion of members of your Lordship's House who did so is even greater. Of those members of both houses, some recognised that since the decision on this fundamental issue had been delegated by Parliament to the people, it was their duty to embrace the result and fully implement it. Others recognise the existence of that duty, but in the words of Mr. Nick Timothy, the Prime Minister's former Chief of Staff, saw the fulfilment of it as an exercise in damage limitation, rather than an opportunity which could bring great benefits to our country. And others, far too many others, in both houses, have consistently attempted to thwart the will of the people, and to seek by one means or another to reverse the decision which was clearly made in 2016. Yeah. That, combined with the intransigence of the European Union, is why we have come to this pretty pass. Yeah. Today's debate comes when it looks as though the Attorney General's efforts to negotiate an acceptable way out of the backstop have failed. I am a great admirer of the Attorney. He is a man of outstanding ability and, I believe, great integrity. I do not for one moment think that he would change his advice on the backstop unless the results of his negotiation made it possible for him to do so. The basic problem which he faced, which we face, lies in the terms of the agreement which was so overwhelmingly defeated in the other place. The unique achievement of that agreement was to substitute for our untrammeled, unilateral right to leave the European Union without having to ask anyone's permission to do so, to substitute for that a regime which we could only leave with the permission of the European Union. Exactly. Exactly. It's so shocking. That is the nub of the problem. That is why it is so impossible for many of us to support the Prime Minister's agreement. Yeah, yeah. It is often said that those of us who hold those views should be prepared to compromise. I can't speak for anyone else, but I am certainly prepared to compromise. There are many aspects of the withdrawal agreement which I dislike, but I would be prepared to put up with them all if we can get out of the backstop. I don't even ask for the backstop to be replaced as was required by the Brady Amendment which was passed in the other place. Please go into the description box and watch and listen to the rest of his speech. He has it summed up to a degree that really it comes down to how many people have lost any sense of honour, 
and integrity. And that goes for the Prime Minister as well. Okay, God bless everyone. It's just a short video, but do watch it and go into the description box. That video is 7 minutes 19, so there's not much more to watch. God bless. Katani Alvin signing out. Bye-bye.